One hundred million. Yeah. I mean, we can do this. We can have a baby. We can have a baby. Or two or three hundred. Uh, one. One is fine. Cassie, okay. why limit ourselves? We could start a singing group like the Von Trapps. Partridge family. The who? Or, or them too. What? <laughs> never mind. Never mind. I'm just... Wow, oh, this, is, this is really scary. Yeah. And I'm really happy. And Good. I just love you to death. Oh. Tests, Cassie, tests. Tests that you will pass with flying colors. I know it. We did it once. We can do it again, or we can die in the attempt. This ought to do the trick. This wrapper, it's got holes in it, Dinah. Pinholes. I guess you should get used to that sound, huh? What do you think? How do I look? Any different? One time does not a baby make, Dinah. Well, I don't know who taught you the facts of life, Jeffrey, but it only took me one time to make a baby. And it's taking good old Cassie and Edmund about three months. I think we're beating them to the punch. I think we need to talk. Don't worry. I don't need a thing from you. I got what I needed. I'm gonna raise this baby on my own. This baby? There is no baby, Dinah, okay? That's, that's your fantasy. Oh, really? Because I was real queasy this morning. I've never been so happy to be so sick in my life. I think we're gonna leave Cassie in the dust in this one. In the dust? Listen to yourself. This isn't the Indianapolis 500, Dinah. The mere fact that you think that it is is another reason why you should never have a baby. Watch me. What you did to that condom, sticking holes in it, I mean, that, that should be illegal. That's no way to bring a baby into this world, is it? Despite what you think, I'm gonna be a very good mother. You're gonna be a lousy mother, just like I would be a lousy father. Okay, any baby of ours is doomed from birth. I will be a very good mother. I don't have time for this. No, all right. Yes, Edmund Winslow here. I had a meeting with Mr. Gastu 20 minutes ago. He hasn't showed up. Right, do you know where he is? I realize that. I realize he's busy, but so am I. And we had a meeting, and no one's called me. I want to know what's going on. Oh. We'll have a... Is Mr. Hockenberry there? He can usually shed some light on the issue. No, I don't want to talk to Mr. Capuano. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Right. Good. How about a cell phone? It's a cell phone. No, I don't need the number. I need you to call him on the cell phone. Please. I will be only too happy to hold. Thank you. <gasps> How's my favorite girl? And call me that in ages. <laughs> I haven't seen you in ages, dearie. Oh, well, maybe that's because your wife has that restraining order against me. I know. I'm still working on that. Believe Good. Me. What is this? This is a little baby footy that I'm working on. <laughs> <laughs> what? You know how to knit? Yeah, well, Lillian taught me years ago, and I didn't have much patience for it back then, but, you know, <laughs> people change when they're nesting. Nesting. Dinah, are you pregnant? I hope so, Daddy. It feels like it. Yeah. Right now, it's a little soon to tell. So then you're not altogether sure. No, no. Uh, so maybe it's just wishful thinking. All right. If you are pregnant, the father wouldn't be Jeffrey O'Neill. This baby would be mine, so it does not matter who the father is. Come on. Aren't you happy about being a grandfather? Well, yeah, of course I am. It's just that you recently got back into town, honey. You need, you need this period of time for an adjustment to get your feet back on the ground. Daddy, come on. You know how much I have wanted a baby. Why can't you be happy for me right now? I want you to have a baby. I also want you to have a husband. Do you know how difficult it is to raise a kid all by yourself? Yeah, I do. I do, and you know what? I am so ready. I am so ready. I am going to be a great mother. Oh, I know that. I never doubted that. It, it, all I'm saying is that this might be too much too soon. Too soon? This should have happened years ago. When I had the miscarriage. Look, I know back then I was immature and I was selfish, but I am ready now. I am ready to love unconditionally and be loved unconditionally right back. 
And I want you to be happy. I'll always want that for you. I have a feeling I'm going to have to take this. Yes, I have to take it. Um, can we talk a little later? Sure, Grandpa. Hi. Did you hear what I said to my father? Oh, I couldn't help but hear part of it. Yeah, well, look, I... I don't want to broadcast this, okay? I, I could be pregnant, and I know how Cassie might feel, so maybe... maybe we shouldn't tell her. Maybe you shouldn't tell her about my good news just yet. You seem almost joyful. I am. I never thought of you as the maternal type. You always seemed a bit too driven. Well, right now, I guess I'm driven to have a baby. Look, you shouldn't be so surprised. You know what it's like after a miscarriage. You want what you've lost even more. But it's not as if you planned this. Which makes it that much more of a miracle. A miracle? Mm-hmm. I've been thinking about my miscarriages more and more lately, and, well, my first baby would have been about RJ's age. Right about now, and every time I see RJ, he makes me think about my biological clock that's ticking, and I don't want to wake up one day and just realize it's too late. How does the father feel about all this? Well, the father, in this case, is not exactly the paternal type. Does the father even know? Oh, yeah. He knows. And how did the father react when he found out? Does it matter? There are plenty of children that are raised by themselves with one mother, and they turn out wonderful. And I'm going to be one incredible mother. So you're planning on doing this alone? I mean, I've always been alone. And once my baby is born, we'll have each other. And you know what? With any luck, we will be fine. And look. After I have the baby, I can join a dating service and, you know, not be alone anymore, hopefully. Hello? Hi, it's me. Um, listen, I'm at company, and I thought you might like to come down here and have a cup of coffee. Why? Because it's important. Important in what way? Is there jewelry involved? I mean, if you want to make an honest woman out of me. Are you coming or not? Yes. We will be there. We? Mm-hmm. You know who I mean. That was Daddy. And I've got a funny feeling he's... he's coming around. It isn't gift wrapped. Open it. Oh, what's this? That's an early pregnancy test. Ah, oh, very nice. It's too early for early. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. You see, they've... They've really come a long way. You see, you can tell now, very early. Well, good, but even if I did what it tells me to do, you wouldn't believe the results. Well, I could be right there with you, darling. No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, then we'll take a blood test, all right? Then we can know within a couple of hours whether you're pregnant or not. I don't need a blood test or kits or anything like that because I know my own body. In fact, I can tell you not only from my own intuition and instinct, that I am totally, undeniably, 100% pregnant. 